Uh, top stories this afternoon, a terrifying shooting in Brownsville, Brooklyn. It happened in a park there and left two innocent young girls, 9 and 11, wounded. The younger girl is back home recovering this afternoon while the older child is still in the hospital. In total, we're told six shots were fired from two different guns. Police are looking for two men. New York Governor Kathy Hochul will join President Biden this afternoon when he takes executive action to enact change at the southern border. Under the measures he's proposing, migrants would be turned away if more than 2,500 pass through in a day for one week straight. Right now, more than 3,500 migrants cross the southern border each day. This, as New York City reaches a new milestone, more than 200,000 asylum seekers have passed through the city's intake center since the crisis began. And today's primary election day in New Jersey. There are several races to determine who will be on the ballots this November, but one of those races stands out. It's the seat currently held by Senator Bob Menendez. He is running as an independent due in part to his corruption and bribery trial, which is underway. He is not on today's primary ballot. Jeff? And we have hazy sunshine out there right now. Air quality not too good. We have an air quality alert right through 11 o'clock tonight. 76 degrees right now in the park. Going up to 80 this afternoon. Middle 80s over interior New Jersey. Probably only a little lower to middle 70s right along the coast. Tomorrow it's a cloudier day. Watch for a shower and thunderstorm late in the day west of New York City. That overspreads the entire area later on tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. And then we clear things up for a time before a couple of showers return. No washouts into the weekend. All right, sounds great. Thanks so much. All right. yeah. Yeah. That's going to do it for this edition of Eyewitness News. I'm David Navarro. And I'm Sandra Bookman. For Jeff and the entire Eyewitness News team, thanks for watching. And make sure you're back this afternoon for Eyewitness News First to Four. And we're always on at ABC 7 o'clock. Have a great day.